Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as Bucket Spigot Plugin Tours. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people who are joining us or description, depending on the context. That's kind of the word. But anyway, I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. Like this week is Band Manager and it is requested by quite a few people. Uh, Fraggles, Web Miriam, Luke Von Kempen, Steven T... T Wickedness Productions, Aaron 2, spelt incorrectly. That's going to be two T O O or T W O. I don't know if it's Aaron as well or Aaron the second. Anyway, X Superfighter Space XX. And then Abu plays MC. And it's made by Confuser, which um, this plugin is fantastic. Really, what it does is it expands on band management. Band management is built into essentials and it has pretty basic stuff be ban, unban, temp ban, all that stuff. But this expands on it, lets you warn players, keep track of of information that you've been doing. You can take notes on them so that like multiple people can know where a person is in their warnings and your users will have an even experience if they start breaking the rules rather than, you know, some mods might jump to a, a ban where others might be a little bit more reserved. The big difficulty with this one though is it does require a MySQL database or MySQL database and if you're running it at home, you have to install MySQL and install PHP My Admin to be able to manage that very well. I'm not really going to go over that because it's so different b between computers that I won't be able to give you a good tutorial of it. Just do some Google searches. You'll be able to figure it out. And then it'll, when you install it, it'll ask you for uh, username and passwords. And that's what you need to use for your plugin. If you're running on a host, they provide that for you. I'm using MC Pro Hosting for this tutorial. I actually paid money to teach you guys this plugin, so I bought this server because because of the difficulty of running the the database and the timeline and all that stuff. So in my in MC Pro Hosting, at least you have to go into Advanced, you have to go into MySQL, and then you have to actually create the database, and then it'll give you your username, password, IP address, all that stuff that you need to put into your plugin. So to run this, to run this like any other plugin, you're actually going to put the plugin in the plugins folder, start your server, and then it's going to fill out all the files. Now, before you can actually use it, you need to connect it to an internal database. So you go into the config file, and then you're going to enable internal databases, and you're going to put in your database information. You need an internal database for each server, even if you're running a bungee cord. And then you want to enable an external database, which is going to be a central database that all of your your servers will connect to. So each server will have an internal, and then they'll have the one single shared external so that you can do some bands across all your servers, which is really cool. Uh, and... We'll, you'll see that a little bit more in depth in a bit when we go through the config file. So let's go over some of the commands. I'm not really going to go over a lot of the basics. I mean, you have your ban, which is going to be player message after that. You're going to have, um, you know, you, you could do ban IP range is really cool. And if you punch in any of these commands, so ban IP range, if you just punch it in, it's going to tell you uh, what you need to do exactly. So you do ban or temp ban. Uh, oops, temp ban, spelt it wrong. So the time diff, let's hit that really quick. Now the time is something that can actually be stacked, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, you can see, you know, the list is going to be here. You have S for seconds, M for minutes, H for hours, D for days, uh, MO for months, and Y for years. Now what you can actually do, which is pretty cool, you can do temp ban, evil... Doppel, oh, evil doppelgamer, and then you can go one hour and 15 seconds. That's pretty cool, and you could do that one day and six hours. So, 
couple of the cool things that I really like about this is you can add a note on them. So if you've you know, like had a difficulty with them, you can add the note in here. So if somebody else comes along and goes, hey, this person is being weird, they can look up notes. So we're gonna do add note, um, and then you can do notes, and then you can look it up. And it'll have the username that put the note in, and then the, the description of the note. It's probably limited. I'm not sure what how much it's limited by, but that's pretty, you know, you got that. You can look at alts, uh, if they have any alternates. Um, now, because I've joined from the same IP address, it's going to show up as mine. Um, you can warn the player, so you can do warn, evil doppler gamer, stop. And then that'll show up on their screen. So then the other cool thing with this is you can look up all the information about a person. You go BM info evil. So that gives you all the information in regards to that user. So it shows that it's been warned, uh, it's been banned none times, it's been warned one times, last connect, possible alternates, IP has been banned, all that stuff. Um, and then if you've attach this to a server when you do banning or temp banning or anything like that you can put a, a hyphen s at the end and that'll make it silent so that it won't announce it to the rest of the players on your server so you can actually put bm info so if you want to do bm info uh evil and then you want to just look at bands you could put that uh there hasn't been any there, so we're put W since there's only but one warning. Then you can see more information about those specific things about them. So you got your hyphen B, which is gonna be bans, hyphen K is gonna be kicks, hyphen M is gonna be mute, hyphen N is gonna be notes. So if we want to just look at notes for him, then we'll do that. And then uh, W is gonna be warning. And if you actually put that all in, and then hyphen T. And then you could put in the time frame that you want to look at. You know, if you want to look at the last three days or last two hours or whatever it is, the same kind of thing goes. It'll be two H is going to be the last two hours, that kind of stuff, which is really cool. Um, the perm nodes for this, I'm not really going to hit those. Like, there's so many commands. I'm, I would just recommend going to the website for the all the commands and look at those it's very well done really good description of all the other commands because there's a lot of commands i didn't hit that would probably be helpful i just hit some of the more some of the ones that are really unique to this plugin also the perm nodes are all listed in there and there's a perm node for every command you want to give that to your moderators or your moderator group to in your permissions plugin to give them access to those commands which is really cool Let's hop over to the config file and take a look. All right, so here we are in our configurations. This is, uh, you know, I'm remoted into the server via FTP using WinSC, which is what you need to do when you're running your server in a host environment. This is probably the easiest one that you can link your Notepad++, which is really cool. So we're gonna go into plugins. You can see we run in our band manager, we're running PEX and Vault, and that's it. We probably don't even need PEX, and I don't think you need Vault. This is all you need. Then you're gonna go into your band manager folder. The first thing we're gonna open is the config file. Okay, so now here's where you set up your databases. Like I was saying, you gotta set this to true, and then restart your server, and then you put in your IP address, the port. It's probably just gonna be the default port, unless you're running this at home and you put it on a spe special port. Then you have your name and username. Like I said, this is all going to be changed. So good luck, guys. And password that is given to you by your host or whatever you set up. And then you can set up custom tables if you want. This is where you can modify what tables it'll create once it connects to your database. Which, you know, if you're connecting multiple uh, servers to the same database, you might want to change the tables. If you're upgrading from pre UUID, you want to change these. Uh, these table names and then once you do the convert this is going to be down here you're going to hit true point it at the database and it's going to convert everything over i'm not really going to go into detail of that but there will be a link in the jibbles for that and then external this is where you're going to set up your bungee cord database which is going to be a single database all of your bungee cord servers will point at this one it's disabled by default because not everybody runs bungee cord but you set that to true fill in all your information all that stuff a couple other things to note in here probably just want to bypass this stuff if you're connecting locally or running a bungee cord that's going to run on a internal uh, if you want to add your personal 
uh, IP in here so people can't ban you when they're connected from that. You can uh, you can uh, put in an extended blacklist here for commands that are are blocked when players are muting. So if you have any custom commands that people can run, you might want to put those in there and then uh, ban manager will block them while they're muted. Muted. It's pretty cool. Uh, a couple other things. You want to keep it in online mode. Um, but maybe if you want to, if you're running Bungie Core, maybe you want to run that false. Not sure. Let me know, guys. And then you can automatically punish alternate, alternate usernames in here by hitting it true. Now, the difficulty, obviously, is if you have multiple people connecting from the same IP uh, IP address, then this might be trouble troublesome. And then also it might be troublesome on Bungie Core because everybody has the same IP. Unless it passed it correctly, it should be okay. We don't need to hit the console because that's just going to be filled out by the plugin. You don't need to auto... You don't need to modify anything in there. Exemptions, this is where you can add your per, uh, personal exemptions in here from if you are filling this out. This exceptions area is where you can add your username in uh, in here. Now here's the example. You want to use your UUID actually, and then you wanna put in the exemptions that are apply to you. Your GOIP, um, this is how you can block certain ser uh, countries on your server, which is kind of cool. By default, it's not enabled. Messages, I love it when the authors put messages in there. It means you can fully customize what the plugin says, color codes, all that stuff, so it matches everything else on your server. Now, reasons, this is really cool. So you can put in custom reasons. So instead of typing out a reason at the end, you could just say hashtag, griefing and it'll look in here and it'll uh fill it out so it'll be like griefing griefing user was destroying stuff keep in mind you want to put the the quotes around it so then when you do the hashtag griefing it'll automatically fill in user was destroying stuff which is really cool that that's awesome you can really make your job your mods jobs easier and then schedules probably don't really want to edit anything in here so we're not really going to hit it let's hop back in the game and wrap it all up so yeah that's the quick and easy of band manager i know i missed a lot of plugins and a lot of permission nodes but the author's website is fantastic for describing each one of those commands and each one of those permission nodes you got to put those in your permissions plugin if you haven't done that if you haven't set up your permissions plugin, it's like the first thing you need to do when you run a public server Go check out one of my tutorials on that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> oh, I just realized something. I might be forgetting some people. I let me see. I got him.